and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Boys, it is Tuesday. What's going on, everybody? We got the team of the weeks today. That's right, I'm changing up the intro, boys. I felt like saying something else, and I completely just botched the intro, but it's all good. It's all good, guys. It is Tuesday. October 29th, you know what that means. It's Team of the Week Tuesday, boys. Now, it was pretty obvious who would be getting some of them. At least so far, we have the one guaranteed hero. And, right, he was pretty obvious. We assumed he'd get one, right? He was a beast. He was a monster. His name is Nick Bosa, right end for the San Francisco 49ers. A lot of you guys might know him because you have his rookie premiere, or you're just a fan of the 49ers, or you were a fan of him in college. But a lot of us have his rookie premiere card. You know what that means, right? We're going to get his defensive hero for free. The only issue is the way EA did this, they botch, and he doesn't look, he doesn't look like a defensive hero, he looks like a defensive set piece, but we'll go over all that in this video as we get to it, boys. I am excited. Team of the Week is always an exciting time of the week. One of the things that we look forward to during the uh, the weekdays up until Legends and House Rules and all the other stuff. Hopefully, they replace my tent with something soon because without my tent, things going to be a little dry during the week, but we'll get into all that. Uh, hopefully, the rest of these drops are enjoyable and you enjoy the whole video, but before we get into the video, boys, real quick, if you haven't already, go down below. Come join the family. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on that noti bell. The family's growing, boys. We're at 11K. I appreciate you guys for all that, but let's not stop there. Let's go to 12K next. And if you haven't already, come join the family. Next big goal, 20K. Comment down below what you think of these um, these Team of the Week guys, such as Nick Bosa and all the other ones you're about to see. The LTD, the offensive here, and all the pieces. If you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, boys. Get this video to 250 likes. And if you're an, if you're an OG or a lower supporter, you already know. Best way to show support, give this video a big thumbs up. Now we're going to head on over to Twitter in a second to show you guys the Nick Bosa card. Then we're going to go back around to the set pieces. Then I'm going to show you guys the new LTD and the offensive hero. And that should wrap up the majority of this video. Uh, would I recommend opening packs for them? Probably not, guys. I never recommend opening packs unless there's something really fire that we need to get. But pack odds don't really guarantee that. So let's head on over to Twitter real quick to show you guys the Bosa stats. All right, so we're over on Twitter. As you guys can see, this is the Nick Bosa card. You guys can look for yourself pretty pretty horrific what we were from what we were expecting 35 salary cap for all you salary cap guys he has that little forward arrow um trending up archetype don't know what that means 91 overall right and 91 overall is cool so a lot of you guys can get a free 91 overall so i know a lot of you guys are probably excited right all you 80 overall teams all you guys i know that's probably exciting i get that but for a lot of people who know who like people on a budget will love this i understand great for you guys i get that but the issue is guys you like to get the best player each position this is nothing and just as a guy who me who likes nick bosa and thought he was gonna have a really awesome card it really does suck for everyone who likes nick bosa in general he's six foot four 79 speed bad 91 excel not horrible 90 okay 91 excel is really good i'll give him that that's really good i thought his, i thought his speed should have been like an 82 at least after what i saw the other day or yesterday i should say or two days ago 84 strength decent 88 tackle good 84 play rec low 83 block shed low power move 81 low 86 finesse move low he gets three sacks interception and a fumble how does he end up with a bad play recognition a bad block shedding and a bad finesse move if they give this card an 89 finesse move with an 88 block shed and 88 uh, play rec he is a starter on most teams because you can power him up or if you can't even power him you could chem him up and get him at least close to the thresholds they kind of botch well i use him at a right end let's see he beats Aaron Donald in speed and excel. He's worse in strength, same in tackle, worse in play rec, worse in block shed, worse in power move, worse in finesse move. I think I'll probably rock with Aaron Donald. I will toss him at backup though and put some chems on him. I really don't mind that. You can always use an extra end just as a chem guy in the back of your lineup. For all you guys who aren't above like an 85 overall team, 86 overall team, you're probably going to love this just having a 91 in your lineup, which honestly, yeah, exactly. There's still use for it. I just, for my team personally, he's probably going to end up being a backup. I can't, I really wanted a good Nick Bosa card too, so it kind of sucks this is how they went about doing this. But this wraps up the Nick Bosa part of this, guys. Tell me down, let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think of this Nick Bosa. I'm personally not a fan. Although I was really excited for the name Nick Bosa to be in the game. At least a rookie premier card finally got above a 90. So that is pretty cool. But let's head on over to the special stream. Go check all out of the set pieces. Let's get the rest of this video going for you guys. Let's head on over there. All right, guys. So we got the pieces. You guys already know. I like to rock with this on Photoshop. Makes it a little bit easier on myself and for you guys so I can show you guys everything. So obviously from right to left, we got 
We got this outside linebacker for the Rams. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. He has 83 acceleration, but that is about it. Nothing else too worthwhile there. Taysom Hill, pretty awesome. Quarterback card, 84 speed, 80 throw on the run. That's about it. Card's pretty ass, but like the idea is cool. Adam Butler, 81 tackle, 80 strength. Card also is ass. David Montgomery had a good week. 80 speed, 83 excel, 81 agility, 84 carrying. Too low of speed, but the card's are well-rounded. DK Metcalf, which Craylo on stream called DK Metacalf. But 90 speed, 89 jumping, 80 catch and traffic, 82 spec catch. Pretty awesome budget piece, honestly. If you guys are a DK Metcalf fan, look into that. Trey Herndon, he did have, I believe, two picks this week. He was the pick leader, I think, for the week. 87 speed, 87 excel, 89 ju agility, 81 jumping. Really horrific defensive stats, but really athletic. Ryan Griffin tight end for the Jets. I actually saw his touchdowns live. He was pretty beastly. 71 speed, 69 strength, 82 catch. 80 catching and the rest is all 70s not too great and then michael kendricks who if you guys know was an older madden budget beast great zone linebacker back in the day 82 speed 83 excel 83 tackle and the rest of the card stats are ass let's head on over to the higher overall piece cards devon Kennard, 82 speed 88 excel 88 tackle 83 play rec now personally he wasn't the giant so i can't trash him too much but Speed's okay, Excel's good, Tackle's good, Play Rex decent, can't block shed, can't stop the run, can't pass. What is he? He better have like some nasty zone coverage. I'm in shot. Okay, so let me get this straight. If this zone's on at least an 87, he can't pass rush and he can't stop the run. What do you want a left outside linebacker for then? I'd rather just play more secondary or something. Daniel Jones, 86 overall. Danny Dimes, the GOAT. Giants fan, biased, whatever. Six foot five, 82 speed, solid speed, honestly, for Daniel Jones. 86 throw power, that commander looking archetype. 87 throw accuracy short, 81 throw accuracy mid, 81 throw accuracy deep. 83 throw under pressure, 81 throw on the run, 82 play action. You know what's really funny? They had a Deshaun Watson card a few weeks ago, it was like an 86, 85. I think he had worse speed and worse throwing stats than Daniel Dimes, which is really funny because Deshaun Watson's probably a better athlete. But it is what it is. EA does what they do. Next card, Harold Landry. Harold Landry III, 87 overall. I actually don't even know. I've heard of him, but like I really don't know who he is. 87 overall right outside linebacker. 6 foot 2, solid height. 82 speed, decent speed. 87 excel, solid. 84 tackle, solid. 87 finesse move, solid. The only issue is that he can't stop the run. He's not that strong. His play rec's not too great. He quite literally can only pass rush, and even his pass rushing is a little bit low. I mean, he's not bad. If, he's just a, if you just use him to rush the edge, not horrible. Unless his zone solid, I can't really see this card being justifiable. Like outside of just a pass rusher i'm not entirely sure i really don't know who this is i don't know why i'm blanking i watched the titans game this week too i didn't even hear about him he probably did some i don't know what did they play the the buccaneers yeah you're, you're bound to get a defensive player kind of type card against the buccaneers with the way winston plays next we got darren fells this this one's awesome right so he's slower than jason witten he blocks worse than the worst titans that block he runs routes worse than fullbacks and he just barely can catch like it's 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 amazing to me. So let's just say it's okay. He doesn't have he doesn't have speed, right? Because he could run block. No, he can't do that either. Oh, but maybe he can run routes. No, no, no. So he'd have to run a route at extremely slow speeds, run a horrible angled route because he has no route running, and then if all else works, he might catch the ball if he doesn't get hit. It's great. I love what EA is doing with these cards. Next for the here we got Nick Bosa, which I went over already, guys. Uh, compared to everything else I've seen so far, Nick Bosa ain't looking so bad no more, to be quite honest with you guys. Although, as a holder, I recommend Nick Bosa still. Eh, probably not. That thing's irritating me. And then let's get over to the Nick Bosa card. Oh, Nick Bosa. The next card, which is Julian Edelman. Weird, right? So, I envisioned Cooper Cup, my boy, getting this. I'm very surprised that Edelman got this. Uh, it doesn't really make too much sense to me. He got, like, what, 155 yards and a touchdown? Cooper Cup had 200 and like 20 yards and a touchdown. Right after the half. I don't even know what they're doing here. And it gets even worse, right? 84 speed. You know what that card looks like, the Edelman card? Offensive hero Edelman looks like the Andre Hopkins base lead. Maybe worse. So let's just say Edelman runs these. Edelman, this Edelman card is built to run the crispiest, toastiest slant route of 2020. At a speed of 84. If he's on Denzel Ward, he will run the nastiest slant route of 2020 in that short route running. But Denzel Ward will be sitting there twiddling his thumbs until uh, Edelman gets done, gets a, get a one hand to pick. Like, I don't know what they were thinking here. He can run routes, but he's, it, I don't care how well you can run routes. If you're that slow, it's really hard to do much. It really is, especially if you have a lockdown court like Deion Sanders on man on Julian Edelman. He might get breaks here and there, but 
Dion will make plays. No height, no catch in traffic, barely can catch that well, no jumping. Is Carter strictly a possession receiver? I don't really understand what they were thinking here. Now let's head over to the LTD hero, which is, just kidding, it's Tevin Coleman. I had to go open it up, it was another file. Tevin Coleman had 105 yards and four tutties. Four touchdowns, that's pretty unreal. That's unreal. I gotta give it to the 49ers boys, honestly. Pretty solid team so far. They're, they're undefeated, 7-0. They even just, they, they kicked the Panthers' ass this week. Pretty surprising, quite honestly. Like I know they would do good, but I didn't think they'd kill them. The seven cold must check out his stats. I'd imagine, yeah, he's gonna be pretty good. He's gonna have really good speed. 92 speed, powered up. This card's going to have a 93 speed, 90 excel, 91 agility, 89 carrying. This card stats pretty pretty good so far. 86 elusiveness, 81 trucking, 80 break tackle. If you guys want the fastest running back in the game, I think he's right here. Unless you want to put Dante Hall at running back. This card is insane. He's a great card. I only wish we could get a Redux option going to Series 3, but we will not be able to, which kind of sucks. But he has 55 salary cap. I don't know what that means, but you guys always know. He's got the lightning bolt thing, which I think Marcus Allen had, which means he can he's an evasive back. He can get evasive. Would I recommend getting this card at the moment? Not yet. He's insane. I do really like this card, but she's going to be way too expensive off the bat. Now, guys, real quick. You remember when we had those kickoff things where, like, we can get the uh, the team collectibles and for every win you get training and stuff? I remember seeing, like, if a team gets, like, 15 wins or 14 wins, like, they get a crazy amount of training. I, I got the 49ers out of mine, and I was like, wow, this sucks. I hate this game. Uh, they're undefeated, so I might be getting a lot of training from that. I don't know when I get to redeem that, but when I do, that'd be pretty awesome. So let's go back onto the man screen real quick to wrap up. All right, guys, that is about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you are new to the channel, make sure you're going to blow. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, boys, for the team of the week, the insane new Tevin Coleman. Make sure to smash that like button. Let's get this video to 250 likes. All the OG supporters, all the loyal fans, you guys have been killing it. Pretty much it for the video. Make sure to comment down below what you think of this team of the week, guys. And that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.